Hi, I'm Scott Tomlinson with Clinical Trials Ontario. In this video tutorial, I'll explain where to find the CTO Stream login portal for applicants, which you can access at apply.ctostream.ca. Then we will explore the work area, which is the first page you land on after you log into your CTO Stream account, and essentially acts like a dashboard for all of your notifications and projects that you have access to. On the screen now is the applicant login portal for CTO Stream. To get here, again, simply type apply.ctostream.ca into the address bar of your favorite web browser. CTO Stream is supported by all major browsers, but you need to ensure that you're using the most recent version. For the email, enter the email address you provided when you registered for a CTO Stream account, and for the password, input the password that you selected at the time of registration. If your account was created by CTO, Enter the temporary password that you were sent by the CTO administrator. Once both fields have been completed, press the blue login button. Once you log into your CTO Stream account, you'll land on the page that you see here called the work area. You'll also notice a black bar up at the top of your page, which is a good point of reference because it will be visible no matter what you're doing in CTO Stream. You can click on your name up in the top right hand corner of the black bar, and that's where you can change your password or update your personal contact details. We ask that you change the temporary password you were sent by the CTO administrators on the first login. However, you cannot change your email address associated with your account. If you did need to change the email address, you would need to request this from CTO. On the left side of the black bar, there's a help menu where we have the contact information for CTO. We also have some frequently asked questions and the template section has a link to our user guides which are on the CT Ontario website in the webinars and training page. You also have the contacts section, which you can use to store contacts to your CTO Stream account, and it'll act as your own personal contact directory. You also have two links to the home page, which you can click to go back to the screen that we're on now called the work area, no matter what page you're on. The work area contains four general tiles which each contain a number on the front to show how many new items are within each. The notifications tile displays the number of new system notifications that you have at any given point. And you will receive an email with the words action required in capital letters within the email subject line to alert you anytime you need to log into CTO Stream and do something. That way you don't have to keep logging back in to check your notifications tile. A few examples of some notifications that would require you to log in and do something is when the REB sends your application back for changes, the REB has made a decision about your submission, or you have an upcoming study expiry date. Within the notifications tile, you can see any unread message will be highlighted in yellow, and any previously read message will be in either gray or white color rows. Every notification that you receive is about a specific application form from within a project that you have a role on. If you click the message of the notification, a pop-up window will appear where you can actually go to view the application form directly from your notifications tile. If the notification comes with an attachment, you will see a paperclip icon within the attachment column. And if you click on the paperclip icon, you will be able to pull up the attachment itself. In this case, I'm looking at a letter from the REB that was sent back um, when the REB requested changes. I can download this letter to my computer here in PDF format by clicking the download button. To the right of the notifications is the signatures tile. The number on the front of this tile will increase by one anytime the user's signature has been requested on an application for a project within CTO Stream. You can access the signature request directly from the signatures tile. The transfers tile is where users will go to accept a project transfer and become the new project owner for a study. The number on the front of the tile represents the number of transfer requests that are waiting for you to accept. The shared tile is mostly for audit purposes and share shows how many forms have been shared with you along with all of the related information. At the bottom of the work area page are any folders that have been created, as well as the main projects table. Between the two, this is where you can find any of the studies that you have access to in CTO Stream. Access to projects is managed using roles. This means that if you don't see a project listed in your work area, that you haven't been given a role on the study within CTO Stream yet. If this happens, you should contact the provincial study team or the lead study team in Ontario to request a role on the study. 
This is often the case for users at new participating sites that are joining an existing study in CTO Stream. The coordinator at the provincial level needs to create the center initial applications or CIAs for each new site and provide access to the CIAs to a member of the study team at the site. There are several kinds of information displayed for each project within the projects table. And there is a projects table within each of the folders as well, which are displayed in the same way. You have the project title, which lists the short study title that was entered at the time that that project was created, unique to each project, as well as a unique um, system generated study ID number or project ID number in this column here. You also have the project owner listed in the next column, and that means that is the individual who created that study in CTO Stream. Usually it will be the coordinator from the provincial study team, um, and there can only be one project owner per study. Uh, the date that the project was created, and then the date that the project was last modified in the system, or that the one of the applications from that project was last modified. And then the transfer status will show you if there was ever a transfer of ownership done on that study from the original project owner to somebody else, and it would say what the status of the transfer is. Thanks for watching the video. If you have any questions about CTO Stream or are having any technical issues, visit support.ctontario.ca to submit a help desk ticket. You can visit ctontario.ca for more video tutorials, user guides, quick guides, and tip sheets.